Welcome to the Porn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your porn or sex addiction. I'm your host, J.K. Amazy, Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. In this episode, we're going to be talking about your masculinity and how pornography erodes it. The internet is a double-edged sword, brothers. Now, on one hand, it's revolutionized our world. It's allowed man to communicate, to gain knowledge, to save time. We can entertain ourselves on the internet. And we can do all these things in ways that our grandparents could only imagine in their wildest fantasies. But on the other hand, it's become a conduit for some of our most primal desires, some of our most primal emotions that we have as human beings. And technology has also led many, especially, has also led many of us to become absolutely dependent on it to fulfill these emotions. And of all the desires that the internet fuels, the desire for sex is by far the most lucrative, the most sought after, and the most abused desire of all. Pornography is the king of the internet. Now, the porn industry, in terms of revenue, guys, it leads with yearly revenues outgrossing global corporations. It, it leads in marketing, it pioneers, it sets the pace, and it writes all the rules of any sort of digital marketing. It leads in product innovation. Any sexual desire that a human being can have, the porn industry can and will fulfill it. It will dive into the recesses of your psyche and pull everything out and put it right there on video with a script. And one of the most unfortunate byproducts of internet pornography is its, it's, it's debilitating effects on men. I spent over 15 years of my young adult life addicted to pornography. And while I didn't watch it every day, I estimate that I spent over 20 hours a week on it. And these days, as an addiction recovery professional, I spend triple that amount of time each week working with men who are hooked on pornography. And some men that I work with, when I first started out anyway, were as young as 16 years old. And others are in their 60s and still unable to get off pornography. Some of them have hid this from their partners for decades. So make no assumptions. This is not a small subsection of men. There are literally thousands of men who struggle with quitting pornography once it takes over their lives. While they are from different generations, all of them agree on one thing, that a habit of consuming pornography online, once developed, is almost impossible to quit. In my practice, I've noticed that men who are between the ages of 18 to 35, who are full-blown porn addicts, and for simplicity's sake, let's just call it spending more than 12 hours a week on pornography, okay? They had no concept of what masculinity is and when I probe these men for an answer their role as men in society is non-existent at best their main measure of manhood was how many women that they could hook up with or the most attractive woman that you know they could get into bed and many of these men had the rough idea of what masculinity entailed but pornography and the habits associated with it had essentially erased the basic foundation of manhood for them. And more alarmingly, porn was actually changing their brains and it's changing your bodies for the worse. See, our fathers never had to deal with high-speed internet and all, that, all this easy access to porn that we have. Today, most children are exposed to pornography by the age of eight. And many of them are hooked on it by the time they are 12 years old. So today I'm going to break down a few of the ways in which pornography erodes your masculinity. The first is that porn encourages self-gratification. Now delayed gratification is an essential skill. It's an essential skill to learn if you want to maintain control and direction of your life. If not, you don't need delayed gratification. Do whatever you want to do. But repeatedly giving in to the urge to watch porn, that leads to a lack of ability to delay gratification. And your brain becomes more and more focused on the things that you actually find pleasurable 
And that discipline of delayed gratification then kind of falls to the wayside. So it's no coincidence that men who are hooked on porn are usually underachieving in many areas of their lives. So the solution to this is developing delayed gratification is basically one of the best gifts that you can give yourself. There's this certain sense of confidence that comes with the realization that you have more control over your primal desires than the average man. So mastery of any worthwhile skill or habit leads to increased confidence and the ability to delay gratification is no difference. That is the first way that porn erodes your masculinity and that's the solution to it. The second way is that porn destroys your values as a man. Listen, video is powerful. So we live in a world where we need to see something to believe it. And in our fast-paced, information-driven world, video is the preferred means of communication and, you know, disseminating information. The thing is, video has the power to influence and even replace behaviors in your mind without you being consciously aware of what you're seeing. So as you watch a video, check this out. Your subconscious mind is rapidly dissecting, it's translating, it's making sense of what it's being fed. And I found that the subconscious mind translates and subsequently changes your behavior in one disturbing way. Listen up. Pornography programs you to lower your sexual standards. It encourages you to seek sex and in some cases build intimate and unhealthy relationships with women who are willing to have sex without any boundaries. Now, that might sound exciting to some of you guys. No boundaries? How's that a bad thing, JK? See, having sex with any woman who is available is a sign of a man without much self-discipline. I'll say it again. Having sex with any woman who is available is a sign of a man without much self-discipline. It's not a sign of a man who does not have options. If you are listening to this podcast, you have options. This is a principal thing, brothers. It's not about whether you have options or not. It is a principle that is based on your self-image. A man, at some point in his life, must have control over his sexuality. You should not be a slave to your sexual desires. Instead, you should master and control it. And in addition to that, hundreds of hours of porn create certain expectations of what sex looks like. And I'll keep it simple. Putting your penis in a woman's mouth right after it has exited her anus is not healthy in the real world. The average 16-year-old watching pornography is literally getting his sex education from the videos that he watches. So here's the solution, guys. You are what you eat. If you eat processed, sugary, or junk food, you'll feel bad physically and eventually you'll look like crap. So make a decision today to feed your mind only with material which makes you a better man. And here's the barometer for that, okay? If you feel guilt or shame while watching certain material, consider that indigestion for your mind and stop it. The third way that porn erodes your masculinity is through erectile dysfunction. And I've mentioned this on previous episodes, but virility is important to almost every man I know. I know there's some guys out, out there who are asexual and just are not interested in sex. I know, hard to believe, but men like that do exist. But the rise in porn-induced erectile dysfunction is something that we should all be alarmed about as men. See, frequent porn use leads to frequent masturbation. And then what happens is that the erections that you get can only be induced by hardcore pornography. So when you view porn, it becomes uh, some sort of psychological conditioning which creates performance anxiety for you. Guys, need I say more? No man wants to kill their boner. If you love your penis and you love your erections, avoid frequent masturbation and watching pornography. One of the simplest and the most effective exercises for your uh, penile strength and health are Kegels. So there are plenty of resources online um, that can train you how to perform these exercises. Kegels, K-E-G-E-L-S, if you've never heard of it. The fourth way that porn erodes your masculinity is through social isolation. Porn and masturbation, especially when they're compulsive behaviors, demand isolation. Anything which you do in secrecy usually leads to shame. 
And one of the first effects of frequent porn use on men, especially uh, guys who are younger, is just awkwardness in public, just social awkwardness. And this ironically leads to more shame. So you're very, very self-conscious. And isolation and shame make it very difficult for you as a man to share true intimacy with others. So uh, by intimacy, it doesn't matter whether it is um, brotherhood with other men and friends or intimacy with women as partners or lovers. So here's the solution. Many men are already afflicted by shame and it's induced mainly by society and religion. That comes kind of hardwired into us as we grow up. And if you find that your porn use has dulled your desire to be social, I know how difficult it can be to jumpstart your social life. Thankfully, the internet can help. So there are social sites like meetup.com and there are many dating sites that are great ways for the former, I'll call it quote unquote, porn hermit to begin meeting people again. And of course, the long term goal would be transitioning to building healthy relationships and bonds with other men so that you're not so isolated. The fifth way that porn erodes your masculinity is through goal setting and rewards. In my private practice as a recovery professional, I've never met a man who was hooked on pornography who was also good at goal setting. And as I stated earlier, most men who abuse pornography usually struggle in their finances, in relationships, and in careers. And it's no coincidence. Earlier on, I mentioned self-gratification. And that's a habit which cannot coexist with achieving worthy goals. See, men don't schedule porn viewing the way they schedule time to work on their business or to complete projects. I'm pretty sure you don't do that. It's usually, you know what, I'm going to watch porn from now till my body shuts down sexually. And part of this is biological. See, dopamine is a neurotransmitter, which is basically a chemical that's released by nerve cells in your brain to transmit signals to other nerve cells. It's a key player in the part of our brain which is responsible for, let's call it, reward-motivated behavior. So sex, eating tasty food, getting approval, you know, such as likes on social media, all of these things trigger the release of dopamine. So the more you watch porn and masturbate, the more often your brain is flooded with dopamine and you slowly become desensitized to its effects. And then you need more stimulation to feel the rush or to quote unquote get a fix. And this means that the reward circuitry, the reward circuit in your brain is broken. So this reward circuitry is, is very important. It's crucial in achievements that are really worth something in your life, such as uh, contributing in a meaningful way to society developing a highly sought after or marketable skill, building a family, building a business, competing in sports or in your career. And porn destroys your ability to set, to achieve, and to enjoy your goals. The solution to this, the simplest solution actually, is to become a master of that to-do list and start rewarding yourself. So a suggestion, every night before bed, Write out a list of everything you need to accomplish the next day in order of importance. And the next day, proceed to knock out everything on the list. So whatever is left over goes on the list for the next day. And the key is to reward yourself for accomplishing tasks on your list. Now, of course, the reward can't be porn, but it should be something that you actually enjoy doing in a leisurely way like browsing self-improvement sites maybe, or watching entertaining videos on YouTube. Use the activities that usually get in the way of your goals as your rewards, okay? The sixth way that porn erodes your masculinity is your testosterone levels. Testosterone is absolutely essential to your health, your sexual functioning, and your general well-being as a man. Here's the important thing to remember. Regular sex stimulates the release of testosterone while masturbation does not. And you feel happier, you feel more energized, and you feel more content with life after regular sex. But on the other hand, masturbation combined with porn actually torpedoes your testosterone levels. 
And what happens is that that leaves you drained, it leaves you unmotivated, and leaves you filled with all sorts of negative emotions of shame and guilt. The solution to this is that, well, it's my belief that if more men truly knew how essential testosterone was to them, they would quit masturbation and pornography for good immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to share some of the benefits of testosterone to hopefully motivate you. Testosterone gives you increased energy levels. It also increases your self-esteem and your self-control. This is testosterone doing this. It increases your strength and physical stamina. It helps you have a healthy metabolism. It increases your bone density and strength. It does this by assisting in the production of red blood cells in your bone marrow and in the formation of blood. And testosterone is also essential to the health of your prostate gland, to your liver function, and to your memory and concentration. If you've been struggling with a bad pornography habit and you've been trying to quit to no avail, it may be time to take an honest look at your relationship with pornography. There are many ways that porn erodes your masculinity. And it leaves you weak, it leaves you confused, and it leaves you unsure of your direction in life. It's my mission with Porn Reboots to educate, guide, help you as a man to repair any damage that porn has inflicted on you. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this podcast. If you would like to gain access to more resources on how to quit porn, visit me at elevatedrecovery.org. Have a wonderful day.